Test, test, test. All right. So we have come to the legend stage of the CSGO Antwerp Major. And I thought, what the hell? Let's just make another video about how we're gonna select the teams. Um, I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing as last time, but with some added stuff. Should go a bit faster than last time though, I think. So let's uh, start with. Uh, I think we're gonna start with the matchups. I'm gonna have this um, this matchup calculator thing as well, which I used the last major. Last major I used this. It's essentially like a tool, so that you can see what happens in this whole Bushols system. Um, so you can predict the matchups yourself and you can see what the outcome will be in the next round. You can select the next round and you will see who is going to match up with who and things like this. Essentially I did this but it's completely useless. You shouldn't try to predict all the steps because it's impossible. But what we can do here is that you can see the seedings which is really nice. And we can see the first matchups, of course, and sort of try to maybe predict to up up until round two. After that, it's it's gonna be really hard. But uh, what we can see is that we're gonna try to pick out a team going zero to three first, I think, uh, and we're gonna do that based on the seeding and. Um, the first initial matchup as well. So Heroic are going to meet Liquid. Heroic are seed 1 and Liquid are seed 16. So best seed, worst seed. So naturally you would say maybe the worst seed is going to go 0 to 3. Uh, perhaps, perhaps. Uh, we also have Bad News Eagles and we have Imperial Outsiders, Spirit, and that's about it, yeah. I would say those teams are the ones which I would consider for 0-3. I don't think anyone else is really realistically going to go 0-3 to three here. I mean, sure, there could be some upsets, but yeah, I'm going to choose between those. So the initial matchups, Liquid have a very hard one straight away meeting heroic in a best of one that's gonna be tough um, i don't think they're gonna win that one but then you have to see to who they could meet in the second third and fourth round uh, or actually that would be the second and third because after that they would be out in a zero three because they have the worst C, they would probably meet some pretty good opponents. So they could meet an NIP or a um, Vitality. They could meet a G2 or Navi. They could meet an Ents or Phase. These are... They could also meet maybe a Club 9 or a Fury or something like that. They're going to meet really hard in position. But then the, the Buchholz system would probably kick in at around the round three and they could actually meet some easier opposition here in the end so you shouldn't base everything on the initial seeding because the seeding will change as we go down so just because they are the worst seed here they're probably not going to be the worst seed going zero two in round three because they would have met uh, some pretty good uh, opponents along the way so that means that maybe they meet Heroic here and perhaps in the round two they will meet G2 or Cloud9 or something like that. Um, but in round three they maybe they're gonna meet, I don't know, like a, like a, I don't know, Spirit or something. And they could actually steal a, a round, a best out of three. We know Liquid play better on best out of three just based on their uh, challenger performance where 
they really did struggle in the best of ones. So Liquid is a good candidate. They, they will probably go 0-2 to two, and then round 3 will probably decide depending on who they get if they can win the best of 3 there. I don't think they will make it. Bad News Eagles, I think they're good for an upset uh, against Copeland and Flames. They could, they could do it. They could come in swinging and just beat them. I think so. Um, Imperial Imperial is going to have a really tough time here, no matter who they meet. Uh, I don't think they have ever beaten Big. Uh, I, I know they have troubles against Big. Uh, they practice against Big a lot. Uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a real, real problematic matchup for them. Uh, and they have a bad seed as well, so it's, it's going to be tough. They're a good candidate. And out, nah, outsiders, I think... As I said on the challenges, they're one of those teams that are just gonna they're just gonna make it through. They're gonna win the best out of three or two. Spirit as well. I think they might steal a best out of one. If it's against Furia or if it's against NIP or some team like that, I don't know, but I feel like they're gonna they have they have good upset potential, so to speak. Not necessarily good form or class, they just they have a, a different play style that's a bit more aggressive. That, uh, that no matter if you prepare it for it or not, it can catch you off guard, so it disrupts your, your... Like if you play against Spirit, your, your game will get disrupted a lot, so... Let's see, let's see, let's, let's go into the selector here. So what did I say? Either Liquid goes 0-3 or Imperial goes 0-3. And initial matchups are big. Honestly, I think both Liquid and Imperial are probably going to go 0-2. to two. But if we say that they meet each other, then Imperial could Imperial has already won against Liquid. Did it not? They won a best out of one, yeah. That's that's right. I think Liquid has a better chance of winning a best out of three against some of these teams though. And if they meet meet each other in a best of three, I think Liquid has a better chance. So I'm gonna play Imperial actually. Yeah, Zorathon. And for 3 to 0, uh, obviously, for a 3 to 0, it would be one of those teams that could. Uh, it could be like a big. It has a good initial matchup, a good seed, but it's not that good of a team. But still could have good form. Uh, let's say for 3-0 to zero, you really want an inconsistent team that just so happens to have a good seed and a good initial matchup. So something like a Copenhagen of Flames and a big. I think these teams are really the ones we're looking at. Because they could also just fall out of the tournament easily. So I'm going to select one of these two. Uh, I think Bad News Eagles could just steal this first game against the Flames. Uh, the, the Flames have a, have a hard time playing against. They have a, a lower floor, so to speak. They have a trouble against teams that they're supposed to beat. But their ceiling is really high. I think Big Big could do it. They really could. They could beat Imperial and maybe in the second round they get a Spirit or an Outsiders in the best out of one. And they beat those as well. And then in the best out of three they maybe get a Furia or like a, an Ens or an NIP or something and 
who knows they, they could sneak that in somehow or they're gonna lose one of these things and then they're gonna lose to these really good teams in the end and just fall out of the tournament yeah so big goes in three to zero and then we have all the teams that should make it for sure and this should be the easiest part really um, I'm gonna start with team I find most likely to make it to the playoffs I would like to see Navi but I'm probably probably gonna say phase they're probably gonna lose a match here somewhere along the line but they just have too much form and too much class to be able to not make it um, ENS, I'm not sure, ENS are one of those teams that they play really really good up until a certain point uh, when they reach their ceiling and when, when they reach their ceiling they just fall pretty flat uh, so but I still think they should make it right let's see uh, what is their seed again uh, 11 is not the best seeding that's a bit sketchy phase has a lot better seeding cloud 9 theory has a lot better initial seeding uh, I like Furia's first matchup as well it's nice I think Furia is gonna make it through actually I'm gonna select those um, and Cloud9 is a good team they have a good seed they should make it through for sure can't see in world which they don't Heroica actually has the best seed that's ridiculous in my opinion they could make it through as well and then Navi obviously does not have the best seed but it's such a good classy team they should be able to win on class alone I have no about idea about the form though Navi can be a big question mark when it comes to form G2 G2 could fall through like uh, G2 scares me every time they they come into play important games you never know what form they will show vitality as well it's the same thing although these two teams did really show in the challengers the, that they could they could play solid against uh, teams that they should beat at least banners eagles um, i'm sorry they could win some upsets here but i don't think they have enough class I don't think they're ready for this sort of opposition yet you know they, they're they have the skill obviously they look really sharp and they have some really good intuitive like teamwork but I just don't think they have the routine and the depth of play that is required at this stage that is something that let's say outsiders has they have a lot of depth of play but they just don't look as sharp <laughs> that's another word for class versus form I guess uh, I only have two spots left and I would like to fit in G2 NIP Vitality ANS we have a lot of teams here that can make it through it's quite scary NIP as well what kind of uh, seeding do they have seven it's not too bad not too bad of a seeding i guess the first matchup is quite quite a bad one <laughs> uh, for their sake at least it looks a bit shaky navi as well has a terrible like both g2 and navi have a very unfortunate first matchup that's yeah, kind of a yikes 
I don't know. Two two spots. Ends versus phases are what a what a banger matchup that is. Two teams that play very much like a similar style of CS, I would say. Um, I mean, at this point, thing is, I'm not sure about heroic man. They they could go two zero, and then they could just fall like fours did in the challenger stage. Uh, but the uh, I have to consider the the opposition that they're up against here. It's gonna be some stiff opposition, really. Will Ents really make it? I don't know about Ents, man. Let's uh, let's go and check out Ents real quick. I want to know how they look against tier one, com uh, tier one opposition. Lost against G two, one against Astralis, heroic blast. Mhm. Mm okay. Lost against NIP. Uh, against Phase. Yeah, this was the pro league. They they got to a finals of the pro league, which was pretty good. A good win against an IP as well. That's nice. And then unfortunately they got pretty schooled by phase, which means their initial matchup will be quite a hassle for them. But um, no, I don't. I don't think it looks all that good, friends. I think they might just go two to three, just barely lose out. It's gonna be a heartbreak, I think. Meanwhile, some like Furia. I don't even know how much Tier One CS they've been playing. Uh, oh my God! Wait, they, they looked pretty good and. In the pro league for sure. Beating ends as well. Furia looks like a decent team. They really do. I have to say. I think uh, I'm happy with them sitting there. NIP as well, man. Like it's one of those 50 50 teams, I think. G2. I mean, G2 should make it though. Just by the players alone. Vitality is also shaky against. I, I think I said it last uh, on the challengers. Vitality has a low ceiling. They're fairly consistent, but I don't think they have really the potential. Well. What if they do like this? Outsiders, I think, will. <laughs> Man, Outsiders is like. like the really old. the old guard. It just never gives up. They might be able to. get about two wins here. Make it really, really hard for some of these teams, but I don't think they're gonna make it themselves. Spirit just now, they don't have the ceiling. Ants might struggle to win the last BO3 and, and Vitality might get, well, they might lose some matches that they should not lose, let's put it that way. And I don't think Copenhagen Flames will be able to repeat what they did last major. Not against this opposition, I'm thinking people will probably study them more this time around. I think they will get figured out. Yeah, I think I'm happy with this. We should at least get enough teams here. I don't think Imperial has 
even a whiff of a chance, honestly. All right. I think I'm, think I'm going to lock these in and we'll see how it goes.